as wide. I can see it now. Yeah. So it's good that from now on we're using that framing. So we choreograph to that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just so we know how to handle this, how to use this. <laughs> <laughs> That you should. You should see my. You should see last rehearsal with Carmel when he goes up later today. We had so many tech issues. At one point, Carmel would went upside down, so I was talking to her like this. This is hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's start. So Joe. I learned something. It's it's Martin Moi. Isn't that yeah. good morning? Martin Moi. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, great. Um, so I very much doubt that anyone coming across this video will be the first one that they, they would have seen. But just in case, and just in case you don't know what we look like, um, this is Rita speaking. I'm a white woman in my late 40s, in fact, the last year of my 40s. And um, I have black straight hair pinned on top of my head. Behind me, there is a white wall and I'm wearing a denim apron and black top. Over to you guys. Um, I'm Julie, I'm a white woman, I'm 50. I've got newly cut gray hair, boy Joe. It looks very nice. Uh, I have blue glasses, my pale pink top. Uh, I'm ready to do some dancing today, so I'm not as smartly dressed as I might be. And I'm Joe, and I'm a white male 50 with grey hair newly cut by Judy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am wearing a shoes and uh, we're wearing long trousers. It's been a little bit cold today. Uh, we would be wearing, well, I wouldn't usually wear long trousers. And, uh, Great. Thank you. Um, so, thank you for doing the proofing of an task uh, and sending those films. So what I could see is like, the more you did it, you sort of came into the task more and more and more, and it, it started to become richer. And um, so we I'm did, very happy. We did yeah, another eight minute one, but it was too big a file to send you. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I miss that? No, no, we couldn't, it was too big, but it was just like, we just went on for longer and just- Okay, more. okay. So I just wanted to ask you, do you, what do you feel about that task? Do you feel like you've, you've, you've come into it? It's come into you, do you understand it? Um, is there anything you want to say about it? Yeah, I mean, even your lift, Julie, and the, the way you go into it and the way you come out and the fact that Joe now has his back to the audience, I think that works really well. Um, and then I also noticed that, and this is the beauty of tasks like this, is that the more you do it, I think an, a narrative begins to emerge. And it's not a forced narrative, it's just what happens. So when we get to do this over and over again, I wanted to work with you with noticing what's emerging between you, whether it's funny or, or kind of slightly antagonistic or I'll push you away or whatever emerges to kind of go with that, start noticing and go with it. But that's kind of the next level. I don't know if you experienced or you were aware that that was happening. I'm finding I'm punched over all the time. Oh, okay. Because of the size of the space. Uh, so if I'm pushing them, because Julie's up in low and we're so close to it, like, there's no actual space for me to stand, stand back and straighten up. So that's Okay. Within, within the space, so I'm, I'm kind of like either pushing down or, or pulling up or leaning in. So it's constantly uh, this so, position. So I can I can think about being a bit more directional then. Maybe. And yeah. pushing you up sometimes as well. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was just okay. something that's coming. Like, yeah. And uh, it just yeah. yeah. There any, there's no room within it for me to actually stand back and then come up. You know, within that contact. Like roll okay. Back, I, I keep on hitting the wall. So it might, yeah. it might help for us to think of diagonals then. Yes. Diagonals in there or something. Yeah. So maybe yeah. when you're looking yeah. at it, you know, if you're conscious, if you're seeing that, okay, maybe you, you might be able to give us direction of how. Yeah. You might be able yeah. To move away from that, or just you might see something. Yeah. In that. that, uh, that okay, so I'll watch that. it again with that in mind. Um, yeah. I'll wait until I actually see that but a way a way to 
actually incorporate that into the task was just to give a random rule that at any point, any of you can take up space. So for instance, if you said, now I just, it's about take up space. So whatever that means to you. And in a way that could even break you apart, which could be quite interesting, but but we'll see. I mean, it might, it might be that a diagonal is a solution instead of introducing a new rule, which might be too many rules. <laughs> useful because it's such a confined thing that even when so I was trying to experiment with just giving Joe smaller pushes okay because because everything's cut short so even if oh. I use a lot of force it's just like boom so I see feel quite antagonistic so I think we need to play with different qualities okay pushing, yeah and then I think the break will help yeah um, so maybe we yeah, so we maybe we play with this idea of take up space or feel feel the oven, and it's just about you. It's not about the other person. It's just about you, and then the other person has to adjust. But it's just about you, so it might be interesting if we play with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So good. Right, so my plan for today is I'd like to do some table work with you both. And then I have an idea of a structure, a sequencing of things. I wanted to talk that through with you because I can have an idea from here, but you are then leaving it physically. So, so it has to make sense for you. So we can play that a little bit until we find the right structure. Um, and then I would just like to end today with really roughly trying the structure really roughly just so there's um okay this is where we move the phone from there and then to there this is where just so you have a sense of the thing um then in rehearsal eight it will be about um certain sections do like we take one section we do it over and over you do it once i give you notes you do it again i give you notes and then we move on to the next section and we do that and rehearsal nine, which is the technical rehearsal. So after we've given notes on all the little bubbles, we do it again from beginning to end. So we, we begin to play it. So you do it, you do the whole thing. I give you notes, do it again. I give you notes. So I stop interrupting. I just, you, you begin to feel the whole thing. Um, and then we still have the day of the performance to do that over and over again before, before the performance in the evening. So I just wanted to give you a sense of how I'm thinking to progress. Does that feel, does that feel okay? That's fine. There's one other thing that's come up. 25 ton of timber. <laughs> so <laughs> out of the blue, one of the foresters we worked with rang us yesterday and he was somewhere local and he said, I've got timber for you. Because uh, I keep in touch with him all the time because it's very difficult to get timber at the moment. So we had 25 tonne of timber delivered yesterday, which is out on the land opposite the bakery. But you now we've had to put red and white tape around it and stuff. But I was walking around it last night. And on one side, the ground is really uneven, so that doesn't work. But I don't, at the moment, I don't. It doesn't feel like there's something going on. Okay. But I just wanted to mention that that that's there. Okay. So probably will sit there until we've done the performance. Okay. So when you're next down here, have a just have a look. It's opposite the bakery on the land. Okay, I will. Like, and if you think there's anything interesting, like for the performance, we could take the tape down and the stakes around it. Yeah. Uh, but it's just it's kind of like another stepping stone out on the land. I see. Where we are. So okay. I don't know. I don't okay. know if something will occur to you. I don't I don't know if that could help resolve the ending. I don't know. I thought Yeah, I was thinking that actually. It might be. It might. Um okay, so let's keep that like there yeah. in our awareness, in our sphere of awareness, and maybe it will mean something. Mm -hmm uh but let's not go into investigating it but let's no, keep it there no. yeah yeah okay great um right are you ready for me to um boss you about a little bit yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. my back is a tiny bit tight 
It's fine. Yeah. I've done perfect exercises and I've done yoga this morning. So I'm fine. Okay. You just see me go, ooh, that's all that is. It's all part of the festival. It's all part of what? The Alpino Festival at this age, you know? Our aches and pains. Um, actually, that, that reminds me of something else I wanted to bring in that we need to start bringing in now, which is up to now, it's been very much like you send me some stuff, I watch, we talk, but, but now it's going to be much more physical. And so I think we need to find a way for you to warm up um, before and, and that becoming part of what we do, either before or during, like it's up to you. But um, I think we need to think between us, you know, I would usually obviously lead a warm up, but I'm here, you're there, and you can also fit your warm up around your lives, maybe. But um, yeah, maybe let's have a think about that for next rehearsal. And I've said the same to Parma, we need to start taking care of the bodies because there's going to be a lot of repetition there as well. So mm -hmm. we need to start doing that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So keeping in mind your back, Julie, keeping in mind how your bodies feel, keeping in mind that you had an allergic reaction this morning, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, I wanted to. Okay, so I wanted to try something. Um, Joe, could you disappear from my image? And Julie, could you be doing the improv, the bread improv that you do when you yeah. guys come from the outside? I'm just moving these tools that way. Okay. And Joe, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to. You, he just left for one minute. Sorry. All right. But I do need him, actually. Okay. <laughs> I just don't need him on camera right now. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll just wait a minute. Joe, we do need you. <laughs> Okay. So Julie, you don't actually have to dance. Just be there where you were when you do the improv. So I'm doing just doing this? Yes, that okay. section. And tell and when Joe is back, tell me. Back. Oh yeah, oh you're back. Okay. Joe. It, Okay, so Joe, my question to you is, without me seeing you, so I just, without me seeing you, can you move the phone from this position to the position that it needs to be so that I watch you then later dancing on the table from the mirror? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, you just yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to grab a bit of chalk as well, so we can plot it, so we can mark the things. Yeah, that's a good point. I think um, we need to get some, I need to get you some electrical tape, so that the actual locations of the phone will be marked. Yeah. Now, all that work in the future. Down there, Julie, isn't it? Um, Rita, you want the table stuff filmed through the mirror? Yes. So where does the phone need to be positioned for me no, to I'm see sure. what I saw in that film you sent me? Where I see it through the mirror. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. So Joe, you basically just tilted it up, but, but it remained on the same spot, correct? Yeah, now for me, I'm going to feed back on that. Oh, hang on. I'm wondering, like, do you want me to zoom in on the mirror though? Yeah, show me what you can do with the zoom. Okay. 
Great. Okay. Zoom out a little bit because I, I quite like to see that it's a mirror and I can only understand that if I see a little bit more world around it. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So can we, so this is good. Right. Can, can we reset to where you had it before? Uh, so, so it's zoomed out as well. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, where is that? Now I can't hear. You. Oh, you're coming in. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is good. It sounds better now. Great. Okay, so Joe, is it zoomed out? I can't. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. Okay, and then it goes there. And then you zoom in. Okay, great. Can we go back? Can we go back to reset? So don't do anything, Joe, until I until I say. <clears throat> so can you zoom out, Joe? Okay, so Julie, um, just a second, Julie. Let me give you some. So I would like to try the following. You do your bread dance. And then at some point, I don't know in the original video how you went on the table. At some point, I want you to go on the table. When Julie goes on the table, Joe, allow that to happen for maybe <clears throat> two seconds. And then, Joe, that's your cue. Go. Sorry, just a minute. Joe, the tripod needs to be on the ground. It can't be on the table at all. You sure? Yeah, positive. Oh, no. Well, I can only see this bit of the table. Okay, so we just, sorry, we, we're just sorting something out. So we need yeah. to. Uh, Surely we can mark the table and we can see. Okay, sorry, Rita. Before we use the whole table, but now we're just realizing that we're actually limited. So, in actual fact, we can only use a really small part of the table if it's all. I the see. Okay. What I'm doing. So. Okay, and the reason for that is because the tripod is on the table. No. No, the reason for that is because it's all being captured in the mirror. I get you. Please show me to the whole table. Um, but that's fine. I mean, we can work with this, don't you think? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, we can work with this. Rita, yeah. When I go to, do you want me to tilt up onto the mirror and then zoom in, or zoom in and then tilt up? Hmm. Tilt up and then zoom in. Tilt okay. up and then zoom in. Yeah. So <clears throat> okay. So let me say let me say the sequence. So just a second. Let, yeah. And then and then you zoom in. Yeah. All right. So the sequencing is it's zoomed out. When I say action, I would like Julie to start. After a while, Julie, begin to play with the table. Joe, allow that to happen for three seconds before you tilt. And then once it's tilted, you zoom in. And then, and then Joe, you will join Julie. But can I just see that first? Yeah. OK. OK, so I've got my shoes on. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Don't do, okay, so we're going to do this like in the movies, okay? So I'll say action and I'll say cut. <laughs> okay. And action. And the shoes, I don't know what they are, but they're adding something to this. So I think we keep them. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. I was wondering how we would change the pigs of the temple within us 
So there was one moving at one speed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Kind of, okay. It's kind of stage speed that is because it's difficult to push it over off the ground. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm just, yeah. yeah. So there was kind of, oh, how can we go, or how can I go you know, faster in this? But it's hard, you know, we've not, and stuff like that. So mm. I feel like. I need to practice it a bit more before I can speed it up. Yeah. If you if you're interested in doing yeah. things more quickly. Well, maybe, yeah, yeah. Think, yeah, yeah, or maybe yeah. not. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm no, that's that fine. Because, yeah. 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 Just, uh, yeah. 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 Um, I just wonder how yeah. did it did it look? Did it was the pace, you know, would it would a variety of speed yeah. up within it? Yeah. Uh, so, so I like this scene to be to be like this, like water in the sense there are no pauses. But it, it would be interesting, and this did happen. I'll tell you in a second. If it goes like this, and once in a while it goes, yeah. Yes, and I stood up a couple of times. Exactly. I was yeah. going to say that. So that is a moment where you work vertically. Maybe that the, the direction is also linked to a change in tempo because actually there's so much that your awareness needs to be on when you're working horizontally on the table that it feels like um, if you stand up and then what's really interesting is that in the camera, I then see two of your heads. I see, yeah. you see what I mean? I see the mirror, I see the, the one from the camera. So that's really interesting as well. So, so I've written that down as, as notes for me to work with you when we, when we go into this fully um, and maybe yeah, in your own time. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, vertical. Okay, so um, you can go. So, so now I want to. I want to have a conversation with you about structure. So, if you need to sit down, maybe go and get the benches again. Okay. Or yeah. you. The, the mic is off, so it's, it's on. We're on the mic. We're on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And we're just going back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's useful for you to have pen and paper to to write this as I say it because we might need to move things. Have you got a book? They might be. Yeah, okay, just take it. Okay. It's great with your outside eye because you can just, you're just seeing things really differently. It's great. Just so it's really interesting then. I'm just finding it interesting what you come back with. So, yeah. Yeah, good. Dedication to the whole. Dedicate. Me to you've got your own book. <laughs> That's <amazing>. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to, as I say it, can you please write it down? And then, like I said, this is just the first fab at it. We can shift things around. Okay. Uh, I'm still interested in that beginning, which is a film you sent me ages ago, The Move by Joey. Section three, table work. Section, so we, could, so we need to find the camera's going to have to move, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Dance work. Improv. Julie, you have a thought. I'm just Very good. Practical terms, but I'm just thinking more moving of it. But I'm just thinking in terms of ground, but I will okay. be moving it potentially if you're. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Oh! So once the camera comes in, if we have that height, so if it's on the dolly, it'll be much easier. So when we want to move it around the place, it's quite easy then. Anybody oh my can just. Oh, God, you're clever. It'll, yeah. It'll, you know, it won't be clunky. It'll yes. I'm mean, not, you know, bashing off things. It'll yeah. So I'll try that. I'll extend the legs, and if it sits, it'll, yeah, it'll be much easier. Like because everything will be at the same height, and all, you know, it'll, it'll yeah. Go, go, Julie. That, that's could a great it, idea, Joe. We could try like a swipe transition shot. Like what? As in terms of, when I say a, so, just in terms of say say we end at the prover. And we could just swipe the camera. Well, no, if the camera's on the trolley. Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> we, we, but we could move it very quickly in front of the, the fire. Uh, yeah. But what I remember. Okay. 
Joe, you could no. Well, I might. No, what I'm remembering about one of the videos that we watched right at the very beginning that you sent us, which was a solo by a guy, and he did a lot of dialogue. Yeah. Um, and it was lovely. It was outside his flat. Yeah. Name. But all those, the way the camera panned and that, it was very exact, and it was quite very kind of steady kind of thing. Yeah. But anyway, now I'm rambling. But that's anyway. That's yeah. 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 Okay, so I, I think so we, we're problem solving the transition and we will find a way. Um, so this is good. So I think that I, I was going to ask you to, to try it out during this rehearsal, but actually what I'm realizing is that it's, it will be more beneficial if you can find some time in your own rehearsal time to try out all these transitions. And don't worry too much at all with the quality of each section. It really is about just running the transitions. Um, mm -hmm. Because we then in rehearsal eight, I'm going to really look at the quality of, of each section. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, uh, OK, so the way technically we're going to make that work, it's like it's exactly what John would do in a the theater. So John will feed that track at, at a particular cue. So he as a technician will feed that track into the visual feed, the live stream at a particular cue. I'm not sure if you'll hear it though. So this is one of the things we need to try this evening. Yeah. I imagine you can hear it, even if we need to set up something so you can hear it. Oh. Um, and so he can feed the track slower, um, like really, really slow. So, um, Oh my gosh, we have a dance. We did some archaeology and this <laughs> dance is the dance that exists in you and your space right now. Yeah, How do you feel? That's great. Good. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. yeah, and it's all sitting well and it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Look, I know we said two hours, but we kind of have done what I wanted to do because I've realized that it's better that you try out the structure and problem solve rather than me trying to do with, with you now. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll do the usual email. So um, you asked me to bake again, and this time with intention and for someone else. So because um, the Cork Jordan Community Farm and their volunteers have been um, part of the process in terms of giving me the land to do the growing and the seeds and, and some of the seedlings, I decided I would bake for the volunteers. So I did that yesterday. I joined them for lunch yesterday in the farm cabin. And then after they had lunch, we sat outside around the campfire area and they cut the bread. I also took some vegan butter and they loved it. And I have a whole film of that, which I can't show today, but, um, and they loved it. In fact, they said to me, can you bake for us every Tuesday? It was a bit like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> Maybe not every week, but maybe once in a while. Um, so yeah, so it was it was beautiful. It was really, really nice. Um, I, I think though, this time the bread didn't rise as much. And I think because I had a time that I had to be with them, I think I, Instead of waiting the half an hour, you know, between the falls, I may have sp I speeded up that a little bit. So the bread didn't rise as much, but they still loved it. So. Fantastic. Well, well done. It's, and it's great baking for other people. You give it to them. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a real joy. It's a real joy. Um, so, yeah. So that's that. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do the, the new task later on, shall we? Yeah, it's raining, so we'll do it undercover, but yeah, there you go.
get illustrated Risha, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly, is the feedback? Great, yeah, no, it's good, very good Excellent, the sun's just come out the Wait a minute, let me just put the lights on, just a sec Okay, I'm not so dark now Yeah, go on and uh, oh, is it bright enough? Yes, I can see you perfectly well. Okay, we can. Yeah, okay, Julie's gonna go. We, we, we can do this then. If, uh, I was thinking because the sun has come out. No, it's stay undercover, just in yeah. case it does start raining again. Yeah. Right. So, as I was saying, because this is part of the Bialtima Festival, and we have what is it, four. Irish festivals in block, the Altena, where is Samhain? You know Samhain for Halloween, and then oh, uh, in block the Altena, Samhain. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the fourth one now. And they 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 run through this through through the seasons. And uh, oh wow! So the Altena is now May. Samhain would be. Autumn, which is Halloween, and we'd be used to the Halloween bonfires. So there's always fire within all the Irish festivals. And uh, so usually Bialtana, we'd recognize up in Ishnach, which would be up in West Mead. There's a large mountain up there, uh, Mount Ishnach. Well, it's not that high, it's only about 600 meters or something. And uh, but from there, you're supposed to be able to see 20 counties in Ireland, and it was supposed to be the centre where the five traditional provinces met. Uh, in Ireland, there used to be five provinces, although there is only four now. Okay. There used to be another one up in where Mead and West Mead are. And, uh, so that, and then up there, there's a large fire lit every year, and that's still going on. It was, it was lit at the beginning of this month, so last week. There was, a, there was a fire up there and it was put out on it was put, it was put out on zoom around the world so people were only a small amount of people went up but uh oh yeah that's the article on. sorry that's the the article that you sent me on on um, on a text message yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, you, and president higgins put out a tweet all about it showing the pictures he, he lit the fire about four years ago he was up on the mountain and then he led it. So it's a big one. We went up there. There was a big festival there. I don't suppose we went up around eight years ago. And it was fantastic. There were all horses right around it and fires everywhere and a big music and fire festival. That was great. Uh, so to bring part of that into what we're doing here and with the Bialtana Festival and the fact that we work with a wood fire Dublin and the timber is so important with us that we thought we will bring fire into the process. We're doing so teach you. I can make a fire. And you're oh saying you've God. never lit a campfire. No, I've done I've done that thing where you buy this thing from the shop and it's a block and it's wrapped in paper and you put it in the thing and you throw a match on it. That's yeah. as far as I've gone, Joe. I'm full of petrochemicals. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. So so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn from you. Okay, so there'll be a couple of really important things. When lighting a fire, one never use petrol or anything like that. Like people think, oh, it's going out a little bit, and then you pour a little bit of petrol on, and the spark runs up the uh, runs up the line of the petrol and sets the whole thing on fire, and you on fire, and it's really dangerous. So you never do that. Yeah. Uh, use wood that you have as well. Like scrap wood is really good. You know. Uh, yeah. The, the timber that they sell in garage forecourts, the really damp lodge pole pine, is rubbish. Okay. It's really, especially for example, so you know, you can usually find scrap wood around the place. And then to keep the fire going, you're really best with a mix of hardwood and softwood. Usually the Hard softwood soft. would be scrap wood you're going to get around the place. That's going to keep a flame going throughout the whole of it. It'll burn very quickly, but it doesn't supply much heat. Where you're going to get with hardwoods, so this is a piece of beach here, these burn really hot. 
but you have to have a hot fire as well to keep them going. And so on their own, they can be very hard to light or even to keep going unless you have a lot of them in there and the fire is really burning, and in which case you're going to be stuck. Okay. So they work really well if you can mix some hard and soft woods together. Okay. Before you light your fire, have enough timber on around you that's going to keep you going for a few hours or for however long you're going to think you want to have your fire going. Lots of people would just, you know, collect a little bit of kindling to get their starter going, or to get their fire going, and then after half an hour, have to go off and collect more firewood. You, see, you can't be leaving a fire as well, so you can't go off. So collect, collect okay. all your wood, bring it all together before you start lighting your fire. But how much is enough wood for a few hours? Like you at the there, I can see you've got two baskets. Yeah, I'd say that would do about four hours. Okay. Okay. Especially with the, the kind of like this, I, I'm going to use this little fire bowl raised yeah. off the ground. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of air blowing across that, so it'll burn quite quickly. Okay. We like one of our neighbors has it's really wonderful the inside of a, uh, a tumble dryer, huh. the drawer of a tumble dryer, and they are brilliant. You have all the air holes around the outside of it and then uh, with the hole in the center and the air can go through it and they burn the whole thing will turn red hot it's oh. really contained it's really safe they're brilliant so okay. if, you, if, you ever, if you ever see somebody throwing out a tumble dryer get it and get it yeah and get the drum out of it they're brilliant so uh yeah first of all i said we're gonna have to we're gonna put some paper in there it's important when you're building it up is to have Lay, a lot of air going through it as well yeah because it needs oxygen the fire needs oxygen to burn so we're going to start off with some paper and then we're going to use some just some light scrap wood so with these sticks here i i split some wood to get these but even with these sticks they're a bit thick and so for, for them to get going so what's a very handy <coughs> thing to do is to make these little feather sticks. Oh, okay, them. yeah, I can see it. Yeah, so these are very handy to make. If you have a knife, a pen knife or any, any kind of knife. Yeah. Stick, and a nice and safe way to do it. Stick the knife in. And then you grab your piece of wood in your hand and then just start going. Oh, I see. So you take the stick to the knife. Yeah, instead of trying to pull the knife across the stick, I see. which can be, if you're not used to it, can be a little bit dodgy. Much easier just getting your stick and dragging it along the knife. And I get you. you. It's peeling up like this. Okay, I see. Yeah, show me close. Oh, okay, see I, see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. But this will create a much larger surface area, and that'll light really easy now that way. So you start doing that down. So making little feather sticks works really well. Good dry wood. Okay. If you're going to be starting a fire actually on the ground, and if the ground is really cold, sometimes it's worth putting some wood down first and then okay. building your fire on top of it. Okay, okay. Putting on the cold earth because as that starts, that'll pull a lot of energy out of your fire. I see. Wood so it can cool it down. So you might build it up, but we're going to make it in the little fire bowl. Okay. And we're going to start now. This is just some paper, a bit of old yeah. flour sack. Put them here. I'm gonna start. I put these sort of these little shaving parts are heading off into the center of it. Yeah. I'll throw a few of these shavings in there. And then okay. we're just going to start building it up with some of this scrap wood first. 
Geeks of an axe. For your house. Oh my god, Joe. These uh I don't think I'll be doing off. the axe thing. This a bunch of fingers. That's a oh, Husqvarna make this axe and it's not very it's not too expensive but it's really good sharp blade on it okay get them, there's a place in nina that sells those husqvarna ones so then start getting it slightly thicker pieces of wood so we have some nice thin so, to start off so are you doing the hardwood now no, you, you mix just scrap this, soft this is just scrap okay that hardwood needs a lot of heat Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so you're just stuff starting stuff. with. Oh, it's lots of nice little bit of softwood. But I'm leaving plenty of space for the air to get around it. It's like a Jenga. Yeah. Here we go. So here's an. This is a piece of old dry ash. That's a, that would be considered a hardwood as well. You know, so these okay. burn really well and hot. So I'm going to put a couple of these on. A couple of hardwoods on top. Yeah. And if you're trying to have it, that there's a couple of pieces that have been split. Yeah. Rather than with the bark still on around it all the way around. Oh. That would be making it much easier for them to light. Uh, I don't want to get us too big in here. We have a roof over us. Yeah. Really. And then put a, a match to it. Underneath? Are you going underneath the whole thing? Yeah. And then that should just take off. Pile. So pile the soft so wood. Easy. Then a couple of hard ones. Yeah. So, and do you put the match to the paper, right? Yep. You put the match to the paper. So the paper takes takes it, it burns really easily. And then it, the energy moves to the wood that is burns a, a bit more easily than the soft wood. Yep. And then once that takes, it reaches the hard wood, which is the one that's harder to. Okay. And not, the hardwood leaves a lot of energy for it to burn, for it to okay. catch a light. Okay. Okay. So we have, so the paper is wood, but it's just really thin. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's and then right. And it's just getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. So the, the ones, the, what are going, the feather sticks, like making oh, little bits of thin. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So it's basically so going, it's thick and I thin. Yeah. Um, Right, a piece of wood around it. Yeah, so it's basically the the end. Of the fire is going from the really thin paper, which is the really thin wood, which is the paper, to the feather sticks where there's more surface, to then the soft wood without the feather sticks. But then it by then it will take, and then to the hardwood. I see. Yeah. So it's gradual, so that it takes. Okay, so it's like so it's paper, feathers, soft and hard and that's how it makes its way and it's done it and then blending the two of them as you go along through your fire and never let it die down completely and then try and put it more on always you need enough heat left in your embers before putting more on you know so we i mean like in a half an hour or whatever you'll have to put more on don't leave it for okay an hour okay we need to put more wood on the fire. You, know, you have to okay. keep it going and keep it going and keep it going because otherwise there mightn't be enough heat and you have to start it going again with small pieces of wood. But there you go. There we go. Wow. And so I know we're going to do this next week, but um, just a question about the next stage. Do we, um, when we do it in order to bake the bread, do we wait for it to go into, you know, what do you call them? Like the hot red stuff? What would you call it? The embers. Yeah. Yeah, like. Oh, and the, or, or do you bake the bread on fire? On fire no. or on? 
on the embers. So we'll we'll have to talk about getting the timing for that. Yeah, That's yeah, right? yeah. Uh, so you will have to make the bread. Yeah. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, I have to make, to make the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll talk about what time you're going to come okay. over. Yeah. I think you're sitting up, you know, in the evening time. Yeah. So if, if if you're making that bread in the morning, and then after you've rounded the dough, putting it into the fridge, we make it I see. The day, you know. So then when you bring it over with you, if it's if it's ready to, to bake, we can put it into the fridge and hold it there. Okay. As we get the fire going. And then after about an hour or so, we can uh, this is that would drop down and we can make a fire and we can bake off the bread. Okay. So basically when we actually bake the bread on the fire, um there'll be no flames, they'll no. just be the the amber. Amber. And the the part of it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, wow. The flames are not hot, the embers are. Oh, really? Okay. So that's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite I'm getting quite warm here now. And the hardwood is starting to take it out. Yeah, I can and see it. Going, that'll really kind of put out some good heat without so, so much flame and stuff like that. But they're lovely, yeah. And that's how easy it is to start fire. You don't need to buy them silly fire log things, you know? Okay, well, I'm going to do it this week, the first ever fire that I would have started. So I have plenty of wood here. Instead of yep. having to go off and find wood and stuff like that. So you can just come down to okay. me with we'll set up a crate. And then you can lit your own fire and you, can, you know how to make a fire and stuff like that. Okay. All right, so that's great. So I'll probably, well, I'll text you, but I'll probably come over sometime tomorrow, pick up the yeah. wood. I'll arrange it with the with the campfire location in the farm. I think I'll do it there, yeah. um, and come and pick up some wood from you, and yeah, and just attempt yeah. to do it. Maybe I'll do it for lunch. So by the time that the volunteers are having a lunch break, they'll have a fire, or maybe in the yeah. evening. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, it's always gorgeous. Great, thank you so much, Joe. You know, okay. Great, we're done. We're done. Brilliant. I have a fire now. Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Thank you so See much. You Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.